to this week's review on the garage with Dennis. Now before we get started looking at the 2014 Honda Odyssey minivan, and it is the elite version, don't start boiling the tar, don't start accumulating the feathers, and certainly don't look to burn my man card. I know that I love hot rods and I know that I love horsepower, but I'm a regular everyday guy and you're out there wondering why do I love a minivan? There's so many reasons to not fall in love with the brand new 2014 Honda Odyssey minivan. From its inside amenities to the way it drives, to comfort and convenience and everything you can do, it's short of a miracle why everybody doesn't want this thing. Now like I said, don't get the noose ready yet, let me have a chance to explain. My review starts right now. of the Odyssey because you know what? A lot of people like to make fun of people being soccer moms. Well, guess what? I'm a soccer dad. These are my shoes. This is my U18 girls soccer bag. My chairs, everything, even an extension cord for some of the yard tools I had back here. Tons of storage and guess what? If everybody gets dirty, all I gotta do is grab my handy dandy vacuum that's built in and suck everybody's dirt right off of them. I tell you what, it doesn't get much better than being able to make the mess and then clean it up yourself. First thing we're gonna talk about when we get inside the Honda Odyssey is this back row. Very easily accessible by the design of the middle row seats, but you have outlets for both your cell phone power, even 110 power, and this is where you would plug in your PlayStation or your Xbox, which brings us to the middle row and watching a movie. Now we're in the middle seat. This is where my daughter spent all her time in this thing. She absolutely adores it for good reason. This widescreen ultra wide rear entertainment system put together by Honda, not only is great for movies. Yes, I'm watching the Crudes, trademark infringement not included, but it's a system where I could play a video game on one side, like I mentioned your PlayStation or your Xbox, put on my headphones, and you can listen to it that separately. Then of course, on the other side of the screen, a daughter or a second kid or a second pair of kids could watch the movie they want. And of course, what TV is not included without a remote? Before we even get on the road from the front seat, I gotta tell you about everything that's cool in the front area of the Honda Odyssey, because if I try to do it when I'm driving, I'm gonna end up wrecking this thing. Now you start with this huge cavernous center console, four big cup holders, so much area in here. I got phone, my iPhone, I got all my goodies, my water bottle, all my paperwork, including even my GoPro camera sitting in there. Then you move down here a little bit lower, a cool box to keep things cool. Your rear DVD player, this is where you would put in your movie. You have an auxiliary output on a quarter inch jack, a regular output for your cell phone charger. You have a USB port if you wanna plug in your iPhone or maybe a Samsung Galaxy like I have. And then of course you move up to the controls for the audio. You have several different audio sources. You have FM, AM, XM, CD, rear DVD, HD radio, of course USB and your iPod hookups like I talked about. Then you move up from there to the HVAC controls. And the beauty of HVAC controls when they're simple is just that, stop over complicating them out there. Some of the manufacturers I've made a big complaint about trying to make it too hard or too fancy. It's real simple. I have a dial, it's cold and hot. I have a fan, it's on and off. Kudos to Honda to making this vehicle so easy and it has three different zones for HVAC, but making it so you can control it real easily from one area. 
Then you move up to the traffic control system in the DVD system, excuse me, in the navigation. Map guidance, traffic incidents, and even real-time traffic make it easy so you'll maybe not get caught up on the highway. Last but not least, you have little goodies up here, of course, a big power moonroof, and even a little mirror. As you can see, I'm watching my camera guy film me through the little I'm watching what you're doing mirror. And if you got four or five kids in the back of this, this is godsend. Now, after all that, I gotta take you out on a drive. Before I get on the drive, I do wanna make one mention. All of those cool systems I just talked about, just about any of those controls are available on the wheel and to my left to open and close both rear and both side power doors. So the one last thing, let's go for a drive. Now I've taken a lot of flack over the last week I've spent with this Honda Odyssey because most people that know me, you know, I mean, I'm a six foot two, 275 pound ruffian who loves hot rods and horsepower, and doing burnouts and driving like a maniac. But the funny part is about this little minivan is, I can't help but like it. It drives great, it has great dynamics. It's not a sports car, don't get me wrong. But as far as being able to go through traffic, go on a road trip, I mean, really, you could not find a better car. It has 248 horsepower. It gets about 25 miles a gallon of gas. It does everything you'd ever want it to do, minus maybe tow a small trailer. I tell you what, Honda, you make this thing tow 2,500 pounds, and I wonder what everybody's gonna do when they stop buying Suburbans. Because if you look at the way that trends go, this is something I find very interesting. 25 years ago, you couldn't give away a station wagon. Nobody wanted a station wagon whatsoever. That was the geek mobile. That was the old lady mobile. Nobody wanted anything to do with them. Now, guess what? Not only in the hot rod industry, but in the vintage or even kind of that so-called hipster type thing, everybody wants a station wagon all the fun, all of a sudden. So let me ask you something. In the future, is this going to be the wagon in 25 years? Is this what everybody's going to want to drive in 25 years? Well, I'll be about 68 years old and I'll tell everybody, Look back on those old DVDs. Look back on those old reviews I did. And I told you in 2013 that minivans were cool. All right, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but one of the things that if you have to have just a little bit of fun with your minivan, you know, yeah, it's not a NHRA dragster, but I tell you what, with 248 horsepower and if you accidentally turn the traction control off, you might be able to do something like this. <laughs> All right, we're back here in the shop to wrap up our review of the 2014 Honda Odyssey Elite. Now, for just over $45,000, I will tell you that this is one of the best family haulers you will ever, ever put your hands on. I love it from head to toes. Now, like I said, don't boil the tar or try to rip up my man card. I still have a race car and I still love to go out and have fun. But as far as when it's time to take my U8 girls or my family or even my immediate family out to dinner or go on a road trip, this is definitely the vehicle. If you want to know more about what they're doing, go to Honda.com. And also, make sure and check out our sponsors, Craftsman, Made to Make, and of course, Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. Check out our stuff at InTheGarageWithDennis.com. You can check out our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. And until the next review, we'll see you then.